This particular procedure is a great example of how the main principle of reconstructive surgery is to take skin where it is abundant and move it into a defect. It was first described by Geraldine Hunt, who reported using the excessive skin of the flank fold and elbow fold to cover large regional defects. So as you can see here with the elbow fold, there is this uh, extra skin that we can use to cover any defects in the area. And you can think of the elbow or the flank fold as a square piece of skin that's folded in half with medial and lateral services. And you can free up this tissue with a pedicle and advance it into a defect. So here I'm grasping the fold and opposing my thumb and fingers together to see how we can close that tissue if we remove the fold. And now I'm outlining the margins of the fold. And you can see in this case the incisions are horizontal along the thorax with the base of the pedicle on the medial brachium. The skin and subcutaneous tissues are incised. It is important to keep as much of the subcutaneous tissues and paniculus muscle with the skin flap. Here we are transecting the cutaneous trunchi, part of which is going to stay with the flap. And we're now ready to move our flap into place. Here the cranial corner is labelled A, which is going to move craniodistally, and the caudal corner labelled B is moved cranioproximally over the brachial defect. Now we know if we've planned this properly, we should be able to close the donor site without excessive tension. And there is just a little bit of tension at the cranial aspect of the donor site, but not excessive, and I'm just bringing that together with a towel clamp. Now, using a series of interrupted subcutaneous sutures, we are going to pull that flap into place. Here are some deep interrupted subcutaneous sutures to pull that donor site together cranially. And we are checking range of motion to make sure that that closure does not have any excessive tension. Here are a series of additional interrupted sutures for the flap and note that we have minimal tension. To finish this off, we would add a few more deep subcutaneous sutures quarterly and come across this with a superficial subcutaneous layer, then add our skin sutures on top of that.